Hey, what's up, guys? This is One Shot Zero Kills, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to launch Minecraft with the console slash command line. Now, I've received a couple of requests in my previous videos asking me how to do this, uh, mostly because it's great for debugging purposes and uh, knowing when you have problems or when you haven't installed your mods correctly. Alright, so the normal way to do this is like this. You go to command line, well the command prompt, and then you type in a whole bunch of text here, and then it'll launch Minecraft. The problem with this is that every single time that you want to launch Minecraft with the com console, you have to do this. And now the other way is you use a batch file, uh, but those aren't pretty. So I'm going to show you what I do. So first things first, you guys may notice that my Minecraft is a little different than all the rest. To start off, there's no Minecraft logo. Instead, I have the Java logo. And secondly, when I actually launch my Minecraft, you will see right here, there's this other window, and that's actually the console. So you'll see when I start a world, it'll actually print a whole bunch of stuff to the console. Uh, like I said before, it's great for debugging. And you'll see right here, uh, it actually has it printed an exception. Let's see what it's for. Look, it, it looks like it was unable to load my skin. Now, if I go look at that, uh, yeah, I don't have my skin up. Uh, see, it's great for debugging and catching errors like that. Now, I'm going to go get the default Minecraft launcher so I can show you guys how to change it. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I just went uh, to my downloads folder and uh, found the Minecraft exe file. And I basically made a shortcut and then renamed it to Minecraft. Now, uh, this is basically, well, exactly uh, what your Minecraft should look like. Now, to start off, uh, in the description below, I'm going to have this line of text right here. Uh, this is mostly uh, what you use to launch it. But there's one thing that we have to do uh, before we can actually use this text. All right, we need to go find our java.exe file on our computer. Now, to do this, we have to go to uh, computer, uh, C, and then program files, uh, this one, or x86. Now, if you guys have a 64-bit operating system, it should be in this folder. If you guys have a 32-bit operating system, it should be in the program files uh, x86. Uh, but for me, because I'm running a 64 64-bit operating system uh, Windows 7 it's in this folder so I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to find Java and double click on that and then double click on JRE6 uh, for you guys it could be JRE5 it could be JRE6 or it could even be JRE7 alright now we're going to go to the bin folder alright now we need to find this Java application right here and then right click on that properties and then uh, you'll see right here the location we just want to copy that line all right there's that now we hit X out of that and now uh, in this line of text right here you want to replace uh, this force first part right here uh, that part uh, leave the j slash Java dot exe leave that part in just going to paste uh, that path that we had before so it's going to be C programs files or program files 86 slash Java slash JRE5 JRE6 or JRE7 uh, depending on what version of Java you have installed and then slash bin slash Java dot exe and then and the quotations alright now uh, these next arguments these numbers uh, you're going to want to keep it at 1024 and then 512 uh, this controls how much memory uh, you give to Minecraft uh, for most likely you're gonna want to keep it at 1024 512 but if you guys have a 64 bit operating system and have a lot of RAM like for me I have 16 gigabytes of RAM so I could uh, give Minecraft 2 gigabytes without any problem uh, but normally Minecraft launches with 1 gigabyte of RAM uh, so you guys can just leave it like this or uh, for me, I change this to, uh, to two gigabytes of RAM, and uh, this number right here it should always be half of this one, so it should be ten twenty four, 
as this one's 2048. All right, now we're going to copy this whole line of text. Copy and minimize that. And then we're going to right click on our Minecraft uh, shortcut and then hit properties. And then you'll see right here, uh, there's this little target, little text box right here, little text field. Just go on to delete what, what's ever in there and then paste uh, what we have in before and then just hit OK. And now you'll see that it's no longer the Minecraft logo, it's now the Java logo. And then when we double click on it, it launches Minecraft uh, with the command line, well, console. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys had any problems, uh, be sure to let me know. If you guys liked the video, uh, be sure to like it. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys later.